Located around 115 kilometers away from Mumbai, Palghar district has 52% rural and tribal population. In 2016, around 5,000 children in Palghar suffered from malnutrition, while 557 children succumbed to it. Given the severity of the situation in Palghar, it was a test case for Terry, a research institute working on sustainable development in India. When Terry started work here, blood samples of target groups like pregnant women, young mothers and children showed stark deficiencies of iron, vitamin D and vitamin A. Their dietary intake was limited to traditional crops and seasonally available wild edibles. While these were rich resources in assuring food supply, their inadequate and imbalanced intake led to serious nutritional deficiencies. So the task began with making the local community aware about what makes a balanced diet. This included workshops for parents and health workers, educating them about the nutritional value of their traditional food and encouraging them to grow crops like papaya, spinach and mushrooms which contain the major nutrients missing from their diet. Although the villagers decided to cultivate the recommended vegetables, finding water to irrigate new varieties of crops in their kitchen gardens was a huge challenge. In Pathardi village in Palkar, women travel one and a half kilometers to fetch nearly 80 liters of water for meeting their daily needs. So Terry demonstrated low-cost grey water treatment systems that can recycle water using a sand filter. This motivated the villagers to diversify into growing new varieties of vegetables. Nagodar Amala, those are the half, 12 kilometer Khodalala, Bajepalana, Satizawa Lagaza. The Ratami eaters, Pani Galun, Picotu Ani eaters, Katu. हेड्रोम बसवले जे आम्हाला खूप उपयोग होतात त्याचे पाणी भेटतंय त्याच्यामुळे लावतोय भाजीपाला त्याच्यामुळेच नाही जात ना बाजारचा भाजीपाला आणायला Once the local community understood the nutrition gained from both wild and cultivated sources Terry's next challenge was to integrate it into a holistic diet Terry set up a village resource center with the help of the gram panchayat in Vijapur village and mobilized a women's self-help group to make khakras a wafer-like snack. This was a novel method of food fortification because the khakras were fortified with powdered spinach and mushroom. This snack was liked by the local community as soon as it was introduced. <laughs> The resource center is now working to promote nutritious products both locally and commercially and provide women with an extra source of income. To further preserve the knowledge of wild edibles from around Palghar district, Terry has created a digital library enlisting the nutritional and medicinal value of nearly 160 species. It has also set up a germplasm bank to propagate wild edibles among researchers, farmers and other institutions who can benefit from the traditional wealth of this region. <laughs>